right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and i had a couple of you guys hit me up on discord asking for a showcase of my boy big mac aka mac gargan the scorpion right so that's what we're doing for this video man i know yeah future fight not that hype lately the epic quest all that's going on i get you i feel you trust me i feel you and that's why i haven't been uploading as much however as you guys hit me up with different requests i'll try to fulfill them and this is that so matt gorgon scorpion is he worth building answer is very simple man it really comes down to if you like playing the character because he's actually not gonna be meta for anything these days you gotta have an awakening skill or you gotta have a tier three or you just have to have an insanely overpowered kit or uniform he doesn't have that he's fun to play decent damage decent survivability overall decent character and i think if you like him you should build him but if you don't you can live without him in the eyes of many people He's going to be just a Shadowland character because at the end of the day, you can only do five clears in War Boss Ultimate per day. And you already have those five if you've been playing for a couple months already. So at this point, if you're just building characters for fun, go ahead and do it. He's available through Shadowland selectors, so he's not that hard to attain. Now, overall, if you do decide to build him, what do you have to look forward to? Well, it's a pretty good kit with a couple different buffs. I wish he got some um, crit rate in his build, but overall, I'm okay with it. Um, there's one major thing that I don't like though. We'll go, we'll go into detail about it. So first thing here, Scorpion Sting. Actually, let's start with um, Vitality Drain. This thing is pretty cool. Whenever he uses his one, three, or four, he actually gets a 5% HP heal. So two seconds, so basically, Every time he uses one of these skills, every 10 seconds, he will get 10% of his max HP back. So ideally, you should give him as much HP as you can. And that's pretty cool because Scorpion, as I mentioned on my live stream a couple days ago now, he has one of the highest HP pools of any speed characters in the game. His HP pool is on par with some combat characters. And as we know, combat characters, they generally get the higher, beefier, hp slash attack defense stats so he's kind of like a combat character living in a speed shell so very very good um base hp so that means he's gonna heal more i'm not really a fan of the fact that this thing is on a cooldown though even though it's 10 seconds i, I don't really like um tier 2 passives that activate when you do a skill this feels outdated this feels like 2015 it feels kind of like um let me see if I can go back and I'll show you guys. It's kind of like old carnage, which we got years ago, right? Where when he used his um, tier two skill, he would get the, sorry. When he used his um, fifth skill, his tier two passive would activate and give him six seconds of invincibility and skill damage and bonus damage. It's a good effect, but you actually had to use your fifth skill to get it. So I don't, I'm not really a fan of um, those kind of tier two passives, but besides that, it's okay. Right, first skill, not that useful, basically just Shadowland. Second skill, same thing, would have stunned. Third, fourth, and fifth, that's where the money's at for this guy. Third skill is gonna give you a guard hit, is gonna give you paralysis, which works in World Boss, which is very, very good. It's gonna help his damage output and his survivability. It also has poison damage here, so that's pretty good. 35% for eight seconds. Basically, you can keep this thing up all the time as long as you don't get hit with the purifying wind effect in World Boss or some type of debuff skill from somebody like Thanos. Okay, so very, very good third skill here. Fourth skill, really, really good. It has defense down that stacks up to 55%, so slightly higher than the 50% that we've been seeing a lot of lately. Very, very good. And as you can see right here, tapping and holding the skill will charge it and give you additional effects and additional damage. So whenever you use this, you definitely want to charge it, okay? The invincibility on this thing and the super armor is pretty good. I don't know why they gave them um, invincibility and super armor, because if you don't know how invincibility works, it basically gives you super armor, right? So the fact that they um, gave them invincibility and then super armor, 
this kind of seems like they were trying to fit more things on here to make it look more appealing but invincibility basically gives you super arm the all defense is nice to make him a little bit more beefy but i still find that he's not a super tank might just be his destiny because he's in the speed class and you're not supposed to be that tanky if you're in the speed class but he's the exception i guess right also has a chance to be immune i don't know why they put um immunity and invincibility on the exact same skill however in some situations it's actually a really good thing so in world boss ultimate the lightning bolt that flies across the map the purifying wind if that hits you when you have invincibility up what that will do is actually remove your invincibility and all of your active buffs however because he has immunity and invincibility on this skill all the buffs will be removed and he will still have the immunity so in this case it's actually not bad because this skill roots him in place so if you get hit with the um, purifying wind and it removes your invincibility you don't immediately become a victim to whatever assault the boss is going to hit you with you're still very very safe this is kind of a one of a kind skill i guess we don't often see them put immunity and invincibility on the exact same skill and in most cases, it kind of feels wasted because you put so much, um, I guess, value into one skill. And if something happens and this skill gets canceled or whatever, you kind of lose the entire effect, right? But it is nice in certain situations. Next, we have the fifth skill. I personally would have liked it if the fifth skill got a bit more, but 45% all attack is nice. And again, you can keep this up all the time because it's a eight second duration, 15 second cooldown. So as long as you max out your skill cooldown, this will never be out unless it gets like stripped from you. Voila, voila. <laughs> anyways, ala. Anyways, I'm thinking of Valor because I'm talking about World Boss Ultimate. Anyways, ala, the purifying win. So pretty good buffs here. I just wish he got some crit rate to make it so... um. It was easier to cap out a script rate because as you can see i'm at 40 percent here and i kind of like gave him crit damage so i'm missing a bunch of crit rate let's do that but even so i don't think i'm gonna be able to cap out his crit rate anytime soon so i hope he gets a, a uniform i know expensive with a thousand crystals we don't get enough crystals but he's missing the dark avengers tag and he doesn't have the sinister six tag so i don't know where they want him to go it kind of feels like they're undecided in regards to what direction they want to take him do they want to give him both tags or do they want to give him none i don't know but it's kind of annoying Right, because if he had the uh, Dark Avengers tag, you could use him with Norman, and then Norman could actually buff him via his um leadership from this uniform and the tier two passive that he now has. Right, so kind of annoying that he doesn't have the Dark Avengers tag, nor does he have the Sinister Six tag. Because if he had the Sinister Six tag, you could actually use him with a speed character that pretty much everybody forgets is in the game. He's paywall, and he's kind of trash. So. I don't blame you guys for forgetting about him, but you could kind of use him with um, this guy, right? It's only 40% all attack, but it's all attack, all defense, and all speed, right? And the Sinister Six tag makes sense to be on somebody like uh, Scorpion. So the fact that he has neither one when we're in the age of like new tags and cool tags at that, uh, I don't know why they didn't do that. But anyway, this is the build for him. Power of Angry Hulk. I find that more attack speed is better. So we can get through the skills. So I have 121. Um, so this is the Obelisk right here. Ignore dodge. Poison damage 180. Really good proc for him. You could try to go with a CTP of Judgment. I don't know if I'm going to give him one. Just because I don't know if he's going to stay as a poison damage character long term. Because there is the possibility of him getting a Venom uniform. Okay. Anyways. So, as for skill rotation for this guy, what I like to do with him and what I've been doing with him since the APK is just something like this. Four, you fire up those poison things in the air. Once those things drop, you just transition into your third. This has the uh, paralysis, so that will keep them in place. So the residual hits from the fourth skill falling on the ground, you can basically secure the enemies in place. So those hits actually hit them. So really, really good combo. And then we just go into the iframe on the fifth skill i wish the fifth skill like in its entirety was actually an iframe because as you can see it starts off as an iframe then he's basically 
right in front of the enemy, completely exposed, no invincibility, no immunity, nothing, right? I do think that they should have made it so that when he comes out of the fifth skill right there, it's an, like immunity for like three seconds or at least, right? At least three seconds when he's doing that because otherwise that's just an opportunity for you to take damage if not immunity maybe some more paralysis because what he's doing to these mobs right here he's not going to be able to do to world bosses so they're basically going to whoop his ass or punch him in the face when he's up close to them like that right so anyways those are my initial thoughts on scorpion i think he's a really fun character with decent damage and decent survivability but at this point in the game um you have better options way better options and you realistically don't need him now because his defense down is slightly above the average of 50 percent i find him to be more productive with um voodoo's lead if he had the dark avengers tag he probably would be better off used with um, norman osborne so you can get the dark avenger leadership and the oz formula right but we're gonna try him out with this um setup and we're gonna go against Quirvis. since he's a speed type he won't suffer any penalties so he should put out some pretty decent dps all right let's just go four we fire it up we hold him and oh he slid out and pushed us away now since i am completely exposed when i'm in ooh, nice when I'm in that fifth skill, I find it best to run him ooh, alongside. Oof, 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 oof. I find it best to run him alongside somebody that has mind control, preferably Rachel over Scarlet, just because his defense down is slightly higher than what Scarlet would offer. Scarlet offers up to 50%. He has 55%, so we don't want any kind of shenanigans. And if you already didn't notice it, I'm actually running him alongside anti-venom and not venom in the new uniform because venom actually applies 50% oof 50% defense down and we apply 55 so we want to get that extra 5% juice one thing about him well I forgot to use a uh I forgot to use the third skill there that was my bad one thing about him that's kind of a pain sometimes is the fact that he doesn't really move around too much because two of his skills just basically keep him in the exact same spot. So it's easier for the effects in World Boss to hit him. It's nice that the paralysis lasts for quite some time. So you just saw right there, Corvus jumped into an iframe and we were spraying with the lasers. And while he came out, he just got hit with it and he was paralyzed. So that's pretty cool. But um, as I was saying, he doesn't really move around enough to like evade some of the effects in World Boss. So that's kind of a bummer. Let's just come right here. Okay. This guy wanted to come over here too. Like I'm not trying to dodge you. Also, for whatever reason, they didn't give him um, immunity to poison. So like when the poison or toxic meteor is one of the... Oh, we got, ooh, we got interrupted there on the... Uh, on the forward skill all right i think we're good here he he runs really really fast Oof. natively so that's pretty good we don't really have to worry too much nice nice oh gosh are we dead we almost died i used the third there because i needed the paralysis over the damage okay let's collect these really wish he had poison immunity so i didn't have to worry about the toxic meteors when you chain together the four and the three it's really really good damage uh come on So really good base movement speed on this guy. Pretty good damage. There we go. Fire that away. Move back a little bit. Spray him with the laser. 
he's paralyzed i jump into the five i take some damage but it should be fine okay Oof. i might want to max out his dodge to be honest yeah i think I'll, I'll try to max out his dodge but there's not much else i can do because i gave him so many urus already but i do like mac big mac like a mac truck pulling up till your girl would up okay let me stop let me stop i'm gonna get myself in trouble <laughs> like i care <laughs> we live on the edge boys <laughs> So yeah, 65, not bad with him, not bad, not bad. Mac out here putting in work, right? Let's go check him out against Proxima. I don't know if I would give him a CTP, to be honest with you. At, the, at this point in the game, I don't think I want to give a CTP to um, any character that doesn't have an Awakening or a Tier 3. Just because one, I'm free to play now, and two, um, the Awakening characters are just coming at a rapid rate. So yeah, it's pretty much always best to go with a character that either has a tier 3 or an awakening so what am i doing here what am i doing here what am i doing i'm looking for uh universal that's what i'm looking for we need more leaderships like voodoo but i feel like they're trying to figure out how they can monetize these leaderships all right i feel like that's why we're not seeing a large influx but as soon as they figure out the most effective way to make money out of it which probably will come in the form of a uniform for a character that they sell for money or just a premium character in general big mac let's go you a lady killer figuratively not not literally guys come on now you're not that much of a savage okay i'm talking and then i messed up <laughs> all right let's go big mac Pull up with the third skill. There we go. There we go. Put the laser on her. Okay. The blade twister caught me because the fifth skill leaves you completely exposed, which is annoying. Whoever decided that probably thought Hmm, let's leave him completely exposed on the fifth skill and then just sell a uniform to fix it. Facts. All about the money, guys. For the love of the dollar. Oof. Wait, I thought she was mind control. Okay, please don't fire the lightning spears yet. Let me hit you with this tail, girl. Okay. Come on. I wish I could use Scarlet with him because with Scarlet I would have complete control over Proxima's mind, soul, and body. She would just be forever mine. Don't don't tell Corvus. Or tell him I don't care. I just whooped his ass. So what? What is he gonna do? Pull up for round two? <laughs> Like they're gonna be a difference. <laughs> What's wrong with me, guys? I think I have a problem. Somebody help me. I need to seek help. I need guidance. Oof, of some kind. Um, the blade twister is gonna catch me. Oh, he didn't. Nice. Okay. You have begun. You have begun. All right. I see. No point in even trying to fight her at this point. Cause look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Fifty percent more defense. Yeah. And we'll see. Got trapped in there. I'm just gonna. Oh gosh, it refreshed. Did it refresh? No, I think it's the other one that refreshes it. Okay. Let's see. bro guys guys the man has forty-three thousand hp and she hit him with one spear just one just one and he died bro where's his defense 6k energy defense Ugh, ouch bro ouch ouch 
so yeah big mac definitely not a tank bro definitely not a tank he needs more meat in that sandwich bro <laughs> yo the, the outer layers of this shell not hard enough bro they need to toast that sandwich or something bro big mac out here looking like little mac anyways no nah, on, on the real dose i'm gonna stop playing around um his damage looks good right for where he's at a level 60 character no uniform right i think he's decent he's fun he's, he's something new and different so if that's what you're looking for go for it if that's not what you're looking for don't one thing i gotta say man is uh whoever is working at net marble whatever you're smoking whatever you're taking when you're designing these passive bro stop it get off of it okay play the game